Good evening. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not to your own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. This particular Bible verse became entrenched in my heart as a child through the example of my mom. Her foundation is rooted in faith, and she has accomplished great things by combining that faith with her talent, hard work, determination, and character. I witnessed an example of her character on a hot afternoon in Catoosa, Oklahoma. This was the state meet, by the way. Mom and I were attending. She enjoys attending these meets as a spectator and has even coached state champions Javon Polk and little sis Lana Mims. But on this day, she was there to watch an athlete I was training. After warming up my athlete, I returned to the bleachers to find my mom being instructed on the finer points of running technique, consistency, and mental approach in track and field by gentlemen we didn't recognize. My mom listened intently and respectfully to every word of his track lecture. And at the same moment, she was recognized by someone in the press box. And they announced, good afternoon. We have a very special guest in attendance. She is four-time Olympic gold and silver medalist and former rail record holder in the 800 meters, Madeline Manning Mims. <laughs> Mom stood up and smiled and waved at the elated crowd. The gentleman she'd been speaking with was awestruck and dumbfounded. He said, why didn't you tell me who you were, he asked. She replied, because you were very knowledgeable and I learned a lot. What my mom didn't know was I learned a lot too. In that very moment, she taught me that humility is a blessing and that it is important to know when to be the teacher and when to be the student, when to be fed and when to feed, and how we should appreciate others who are God gifted with uh, what God gifted them to be. We should also pursue greatness in ourselves while at the same time recognizing the greatness in others. <clears throat> 